What's up, y'all? You know what it is? It's Red Dead. Red Dead 2. Check me out. We're gonna be doing some missions. Killing some people. We're gonna do it all. Let's get right into it. I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, uh -oh. I'm buying this land. I'm afraid... I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. I forgot how to play. Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy dang city boy says he owns this land. Oh, he's gonna owns it. That's oh, what he God. says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Uh, should I just play the safe since I forgot how to play? Look. Take some money. Go try and find somewhere else to stay. You for real, friend? Sure, take it. <laughs> you a real gentleman. Okay, boys, let's go celebrate. <laughs> Thanks, mister. I only did that because I don't know how to use my ability. I forgot what you didn't call it. It's been a minute. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I don't speak the cutscenes. You got a horse? Get it's disrespectful. But you literally just skipped over an entire cutscene. And the most important part when you talk about... It's disrespectful to speak over them. It's even more disrespectful to skip it so you don't even hear it or see it. Like, what are you talking about, my dude? What is you talking about? Follow me. You have to respect their dialogue. You could fully immerse yourself in this world. It's not even a game. This is a real live Fox 5 world that you could live in and just immerse yourself in. That's amazing. I hope GTA 6 is like this. Yeah, I think it, it will be. Oh, we're getting there. I almost died. And I think it will be. I think it should be. Look how far that is. Turn around. Jump over. Can you get it? Oh my god. Oh. No! Oh. Shit. Oh. He ain't got no hops. Dang, shoddy. Not bad, shoddy. Oh. Oh no. Oh, oh my oh, god. Oh. No, X Games mode. This is terrible. Yo, I suck at every game. Come on, Slowpoke. 
Okay, I like my overs that I spent thousands of dollars on just for it to be killed. I don't know this horse. I freaking hunted that horse. And I hunted for like track down the horse. Jesus Christ, I want to kill my horse. I thought I told you to leave it, Bubba. And I thought to myself, who this little girl thinks she's telling anything to? Uh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time, leave me alone. Or what? Ah! What is that? Get the hell out of here before she kills us all. You, you. Get out of here. On Marston. It is good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You, you killed a feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She? She's fine. <laughs> She was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy some property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff. Good and bad. Hey, you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. Huh? Sort of. Oh, oh it's legal. I'm um, usually. Then. Maybe. Come on, then. What? Where are we headed? Strawberry. Got on the Strawberry! Run the Food price for him. What'd he do? Rob a bank. With a gun? Nope. With a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Sounds easy. Come on. We got a bit of a ride. That's I know. Of course. Your telegram. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounded like him uh, about a year back. Okay. We always said if we found him. I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Yeah, we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. Hey! But you're a rancher now. I got Uncle with me. We'll be okay. Uncle? Getting a scalp by that gang out there might be preferable than living with him. Sometimes I think the same. Strawberries, strawberries. What can I do for you? Oh. All right. See what you can find. Like I said, feller's name is Nathan Kirk. Banker. Bald. 45. Okay. You head up that way. Which way? you in a bit. That's about Nathan Kirk in town. Texas Dean. If you don't tell me where the bank robber Nathan Kirk is hiding out, I'm gonna take you for an accomplice. Hey, know. don't you drag me into this. Okay. You seen a... You seen a bald New Yorker? Name of Nathan Kirk, about 45? 
No, sir. If we get plenty of New Yorkers here. It's resort town, you see. The Adirondacks of the West, the mayor calls it. But <laughs> I can't remember any of the bastards. Okay. Ask in the general store or the post office. They tend to know who's in residence for the season, as we say. Season? Good lord. Three hours later. Good luck with it. Are you gonna cut through that wood or not? Three days later. I guess he didn't add urgent. Approximately ten hours later. How long are you gonna cut through that wood? Pause. He's doing a bad job. Is there a detective vision that's gonna access to you? I'm looking for a fella from New York. Bald guy, about 45, name of Nathan Kirk. Never heard of him. Okay. There you are. He's staying in the welcome center. What now? You head in there and try to flush him out. I'll go get the horses and then wait here. And grab him if he tries running. Easy enough. Should be. Seen a fella? A fella from New York? Bald guy? Yeah. A few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. This one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Uh, s s sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk? But he's so charming. Is he staying here? He's, uh, up in room three. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. How exciting. This is nice. Look at this. Oh, the architect. Architecture. Oh, that's cool. Room three. Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? It's just a friend. Bang. Stop! Hey! That's Nathan Kirk! Oh! Got him? Oh, shut up! Come on, jump on! Be a good girl now. We gotta get after him! Remember, we want him alive, though! I know! Tell me, I'm a professional. Stay on it. I'll catch up with you. Never mind. Where are you going? Shit. Oh, my God. Oh.
moment. This will all be over soon. Hog time. I don't know how to hog that, people. You don't got any objections. What's in here? Thanks for that, Mr. Kirk. Real fun. I'm an innocent man, but it's all a mistake. My wife, my wife is a, is a desperate woman. How, how are you buried, sir? Hey, ah, what now? Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Send it on my behalf to West Elizabeth Cooperative Bank in Blackwater. Pay down my loans. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. No, so I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so I'll come find you. All right, that was fun. I didn't kill anybody. What do I mean? I have self-control. Uh, we're in there. I'll catch y'all on the flip side. Peace up. L.A. down. And caught my new shoe when it comes out. Working on it. It's gonna be nice. So you know, stay tuned. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be a skate casual shoe. So you could probably play basketball in it too, but you know, it's mostly skate casual. Like a SB dunk. Getting hard to find a nice quiet place. <sighs> he lucky I got self control. But anyways, catch on the flip side. I'm gonna keep playing this. Uh, but I'm gonna end the video here.